I was scrolling through Facebook one day and one of my friends had posted a video of these U Gears models and I thought they really looked cool so I kind of impulse bought the safe model from Amazon and it was $57 and shipping uh, and I think that's a pretty good deal. It looks like a pretty good kit. Uh, comes with an instruction manual and the instruction manual is it's pretty good. It's written in four languages. Uh, well, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight languages. So you got to sort through the languages and stuff. But you know, you can get to the English. Pay close attention. Check the position of parts and so on. Um, the manual, I think, is pretty good. It's pretty clear about what you're supposed to do to get the thing together and all the orientation and everything is carefully marked on the pieces so be careful when you get to these parts but it's very clear from the diagram how you're supposed to do things um, I read through this already it's pretty good step by step a lot like Lego instructions this bit about setting the combination was a little confusing but after reading it a couple of times I think I get it um, continues on there's how the like combination lock stuff is built so pretty good manual uh, the parts themselves as you can see they're all laser cut like this from this plywood and it's one of those where most of the time you can kind of peel off the pieces but I definitely suggest using a, an exacto knife or something to get them loose because there's definitely some places where it doesn't want to come off and you're gonna have to clean that up so there's a look at the pieces There are some pieces that are pretty small, so you don't have to be careful with those. My experience with this plywood is that it's fairly easy to accidentally break a piece. So, you know, go, go slow, be careful, take your time with things. And then you also get some toothpicks and some rubber bands in the kit those are used to set up the lock and the rotating parts and stuff so I'm gonna get to building this and then I think when I'm done I'll give you my impression of the kit overall so far I think it looks pretty good but it is a lot of pieces a lot of instructions so let's see what happens when I get through it So the first little quick tip that I have on this is these edges are really hard to get together and they, they fit really closely so they're tight. And my advice on these is just to go slow and get it started along here and then I've been taking this screwdriver and basically putting it up against these bits here once I've got it started. Put that screwdriver, whack it a little bit with a hammer, go along, go slow, make sure the piece is started first, check it and make sure there's no burrs and stuff on the wood before you start doing it. And so that's basically what I had to do on all these edges. And it's real easy to tell what sides were which by these numbers. These numbers basically correspond to faces of the thing. So that's pretty easy to figure out, but watch for that.
and just go slow, be patient. These come together after a while. All right, took me about seven hours, really, overall. And most of that was just kind of getting started and figuring out how the parts work and figuring out, you know, how to hammer them together and so on. I had to use my hammer quite a bit to tap the parts in. They do fit very tightly. So I think this is a pretty well-made kit overall. Um, now I did make one mistake. This part here I put on backwards accidentally. And that's the basically the striker plate for the door. It's the solid part of the door. And so the problem is because I did that backwards, these little pieces here that kind of just hide the works, um, I couldn't lock those on the back. There's a piece that goes behind these and locks them in. Because I put this thing in backwards and because those two pieces are not the same, you know, these two across from each other, I couldn't lock these pieces in. But that's no problem. I'm not going to take it apart. Now, I could take it apart. You can go back and take things apart if you are really careful how you do it. But I'm not going to do that. It would be too much of a pain in the butt to do. So, because my safe works and it looks okay, I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now, I wanted to kind of show the lock here. The lock is very stiff. Um... But not really as chunky as I kind of expected from wooden mechanics. So, basically, at least so you, go, you start by going counterclockwise to clear it. And then you, you land on the first number. And you can kind of feel it click. <laughs> so, it's not very secure. The safe is very easy to crack, um, but yeah, then you go around and you go to the second number in the combination, and you can kind of feel it click again, and then when you get to the last number, watch what happens. It comes open as soon as you land on the number. So, but it, it does work pretty good, and the Inside's real nice, got a little shelf in there, I like that. Uh, everything is locked together really nicely. Um, it would be hard to break into without taking it apart very, very carefully, but it's obviously not secure. Now, now the thing that I enjoyed about this kit the most is the workings of the combination lock. And you can definitely see and understand how a combination lock works from building this kit and that's the educational aspect that I really liked about it so if you're fascinated by lock mechanisms and I kinda am then this is a really fun kit it shows you how a combination lock works and you can really see how if this was more precise it was made out of metal you could have you know 50 or 100 numbers on the dial and use this same basic combination lock method which is, by the way, a very common actual design in use in things like padlocks and cheap safes like jewelry boxes for kids and stuff like that. This is not the design that's used in more high-end combination locks, which are designed to be hard to pick and hard to crack. But it is a very basic example of how a combination lock can work and I thought that was really really cool they did a nice job on this and for 55 bucks I really enjoyed it so I definitely recommend it